This is a patient who had long-standing type 3 achalasia that was treated uh, years ago with a pneumatic dilation. They had good relief of symptoms, however, their symptoms have recurred and they've presented uh, for endoscopy. In the proximal esophagus here we can see a flat slash slightly depressed uh, lesion. Um, here with magnification we can see normal uh, IPCLs. Based on the revised classification, these would be type A vessels. Then examining the lesion, we can see a clear demarcation line and a change in the IPCLs. Uh, specifically, we see a slight dilation, um, however, m maintenance of the normal loop structure. These would be B1 type IPCLs. This would indicate mucosal squamous carcinoma. Within the area of abnormality, there is a other demarcated area with uh, even more abnormal vessels. Specifically, these would be B2 type IPCLs, indicating M3 or SM1 squamous carcinoma. After spraying with Lugols, the abnormal area is clearly demarcated. Seven minutes later, the pink color sign can be easily seen on the right. Based on the findings of the IPCLs being predominantly B1 vessels with a focus of B2 vessels corresponding to the pink color sign, we suspect this is an intramucosal squamous carcinoma with a focus of SM1 carcinoma. An ESD was subsequently performed using the following strategy. Final pathology confirmed intramucosal squamous cell carcinoma with a focus of SM1 squamous cell carcinoma in the area of the B2 IPCLs.